Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to the next episode. So the last episode we explored Pyrus Mountain, finished up the last parts of Apophile Cave, and battled Victoria, Cal, and Kiki. So with that, we got a lot done last episode, and now in this episode we are told to go to Azarine Island via our boat. So just gonna quickly heal up my Pokemon. I'm actually curious, did these trainers say anything different? Uh, no, nothing. Alright. I think Victoria... Alright. Alright, so let's just quickly head on over there then. So, if we head back to our boat over here, enter, you can just simply select Azarine Island. And here we are at Azarine Island. So there are a ton of new encounters here. So I'll show the encounter chart here. So of note, or at least in terms of new encounters, we have Palpitoad, Fungus, Yanma, Wooper, Shellos, Quagsire, Amoongus. We can also encounter Shelmet, Zubat, Golbat, and Parasect as well. So, um, Palpatoad is actually pretty decent because of his water ground typing. Fungus, which evolves into Amoongus, um, can be a good set up Pokemon in a sense, and or possibly even a sweeper. Yeah, Mega can be okay, but not the best choice. Quagsire um, can be good if you, you know, have it for certain fights since of its ability and overall typing as well with water ground. Same thing for Shellos when it evolves into Gastrodon. As for Shelmet, um, Escavalier, when it, you eventually get the chance to evolve it into that, it can be really good. Uh, its other evolution, oh, I forget its name. Let me search that out really quick so I don't, you know, misguide you or anything. Can evolve into a Selgor, yes. A Selgor is okay. Oh, excuse me, haha. <laughs> Carablast evolves into Escavalier if you trade them with one another by mistake. Shelmet evolves into uh, a Selgor, not that good. So Carablast isn't here. Forgive me. I did not mean Escavalier. Escavalier is not attainable. Uh, you cannot get a, a Selgor right now either, so just wanted to get that out there. Sorry about that. And then as for Zubat, it evolves into Crobat. Uh, it's okay, and Parasect is okay. I don't think Parasect is that good. Crobat is usable. Then, uh, there's one thing I want to mention that you can now if, catch, execute if you headbutt these trees. Because there are headbuttable trees here. Alright, so now that I've gotten that out of the way, we can start exploring the island. So, as of course, there's plenty of hidden items. And a lot of these item balls are going to be fungus in disguise. So, I think these are like, in a sense, one time only in that uh, failure to catch them when you interact with it, they won't come back. Of course, you can encounter in the grass as always. So if you wanna, I don't know, reset for a shiny uh, fungus, you can go ahead and do that. All right, looks like this was a fungus. Ooh, a shiny one. I don't plan on using fungus myself, so I'm not gonna go ahead and catch one. Uh, this is probably a fungus. Oh. Never mind. Alright, looks like there's a cut tree here. Um, let's see. So, I didn't realize this, but it seems as though through debug mode, I can like use HM moves without uh, having the HM move on my team, which is kind of a pain. Um, here's how I'm going to do it. Since I have Cut and Rock Smash on my Pokemon taught them, I'm just going to keep it like that. Here we have TM83 Infestation. So what I think we want to do now is... Uh, we can't quite get over there yet, so we're just going to cut. Honestly, let's see. Can I teach Cut and Rock Smash to any of my team members? I don't know, just the idea of having to use Cut Rock Smash. Have these moves on my team is kind of annoying. 
So, whatever. Because I only just realized because in the last episode I was like rock smashing without my Diana on my team. Honestly, having the HM move on my team is like kind of annoying. I would have used de debug mode to get rid of the move anyway, so. No big deal, I guess. Of course, you can just use easy HMs to. Um. Or no HM, or whatever the password is, to just make it so you don't require HM moves, which is honestly what I think you should do, because the HM moves are still really weak, and having to take up space when the fights in this game are as hard as they are is just kind of a null point, so. Basically, treat it as if I have the that password on. So, there's a lot of hidden items around here, so I'm just going to go around and pick them all up. That tree there. Uh, all right. Uh, I don't think we want to go there quite yet. Let's see. Is there anywhere? I don't know. All right. Uh, nope. Yeah, sorry I can't really give the most amount of commentary. It's kind of self-obvious. It's kind of linear in the manner you're supposed to move around here, so. Uh, here we go. This is the path I was looking for. It leads us up to this item here. Or not. Alright, Thunderstone there. Okay. So it looks like we can't reach that uh, field route out yet. So I think we have to hop down here. Cut this. Alright. See another fungus. Now we can head up and pick up this field readout though. Field effect readout 8, Swamp Field. So we'll be seeing the effects of that field shortly. Which you can imagine. Alright. I think we want to hold off uh, going down that middle path right now. Getting pretty lucky with these fungus. Oh, never mind. It looks like that way was a dead end. Let's see. Alright, no, never mind. Alright, well. Alright, let me get my team ready. Uh, there we go. Save. Uh, use the slate chart if you need to. How do you get that? I don't think we can get that until later. Alright, I'm not actually sure when the battle takes place, but I'm sure it'll be very obvious because it'll probably be a, the only way to progress going through there, so. Yeah, we can't go any further this way. So we have to go up here. that we're up against Esther and Eclipse once again. Alright, 
so this battle can be a little bit rough. I want to check something because now that I think about it, my Needle King, yeah, is not that useful here. Ha ha ha. All right, so they send out both Solrock and Lunatone here. Solrock has a bash for nature, 20 in IVs with the most cosmic power, Sai Wei Fire Spin, and Rock Slide. Lunatone has the exact same nature and IVs. And instead of Fire Spin, though, it has Hypnosis. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with Signal Beam. And I guess I can go with Double Kick. Alright, so in case you haven't noticed, the field here um, affects Pokemon on the ground by slowing them. Which will definitely matter. Oh, I forgot to mention that Lycan Rock, sorry, is a midday Lycan Rock with the ability Sand Rush, a Jolly Nature, and 31 in IVs with the Moose Fire Fang, a Stellar Rock, Rock Slide, and Crush Claw. Um, let's see here. Alright, a Ranguru is sent out with the Telepathy ability, a Modest Nature, and 10 in IVs with the Moose Power Play, Instruct, Reflect, and Nature Power. Oh, wait. Uh. Alright, Lucky Rock Midnight has the ability No Guard and Adamant Nature and 31 IVs with the moves Thunder Fang, Rock Slide, Crunch, and Sword Stance. Um, this is going to be... A little close. That's not ideal. I might actually have to reset here. Oh. This fight isn't usually this hard, I'm just bad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to reset. Oh. Unlucky. Alright, I should have chosen double kick instead. And my Needle King is not that effective here at this start. So let's just save. Alright, attempt two here. This is the better play, I think. Oh, wow. Sending out both here. Oh. Okay, nice. I managed to take out one of them. My Needle King here. Um, okay, going a lot better. All right, Passimian, I believe, is has the ability Receiver and Adamant Nature, ten in IVs with the most Brick Break, Double Edge, Bulk Up, and Bulldoze. Seems like Bulldoze is very weak on this field, apparently. Alrighty.
Alright. With that, we can continue it uh, around this area. And we also learn about a few new things here. Uh, let's see, we want to head up here though first. Alright, another fungus it seems. I forgot my Pokemon are not healed. Um, so if you hop down here, you'll go back to the first level, so don't do that. Most likely there will be another light shard for us at the... Let me see if I can go get that item, though. I'm not sure how to get up there. Uh, is it through here? Mm. That might not be obtainable for us right now. Yeah, I don't think it is. Alright. I think we can just progress. Let me check the wiki just to make sure, though. Oops, sorry, I bumped the mic in. Yeah, I don't think it's, uh... Obtainable right now. Did I pick up a miracle seed? I wasn't really paying attention to all the items I was picking up. JJKLM. Oh. That might be later. Haha. <laughs> need to make sure I picked up some of these items, so. Alright, I don't think I can get that item though. Does it seem like I can access that area? Is there a map I can look at? I don't think so. No, there isn't one provided. It's a little annoying. I don't know why I'm so paranoid. Let me check for sure. So it's a little bit negligent in exploring this area. Can't go through here. Hop down. Can't go through there. Exploit as much as I could of that area. Oh wait, I see this. All right, there we go. This is how you reach this item. A shiny stone. Oh, I need that. And now we can't go up. Oh, technically you're not supposed to go up there. Don't mind me. All right. Shiny stone. That's great. That's great. I can involve Minchino. Uh, let's see. I'm glad I checked. See, so even if you don't necessarily get the item, you can still... Uh, through mining, that is. You can't get a stone through mining. You will eventually find one naturally like that. Provided by the devs of the game who put it there. Alright. So, do I have any uh, common candy? Is my Pokemon are a little... Oh, no. Of course not. Alright. Let's just hope disobedience doesn't come into play here. Alright. So, we're back here now. So, we want to progress down. Pick up this. Ah, there's the magical seed. Or that's not what I was thinking of, actually. Shiny gloom. Uh, we want to go here. Is there? I think we already went over that way. Uh, tiny mushroom here. Green shard here. All right. And here's our next area to go in. So I recommend getting ready for this. What we want to do is pick up this here. Post readout 6. And then if we talk to one of the machines at the top here, a new area opens up. So we head over here. We can actually heal our team through this recovery unit and or switch up our team here. Oh wait, 
All right, I'm gonna add a password. So I only have one data chip. So since I have debug mode on, it's a little still cheats doodly because I didn't use a data chip for the easy HM. So I'm gonna turn that on. So now I have no more, uh, which I'm gonna call it things on. So I'll eventually enable hard cap as well, but not right now. That should be it for password nonsense, so to speak. So save again. Yeah, this is the team I'll go with. Right, with that, we're up against Taka again. Alright, so his first Pokemon up here is a Klefki with a Prankster ability, a Bold Nature, and 13 in IVs. With the moves Spikes, Mirror Shot, Draining Kiss, and Foul Play. I'm going to go for my classic Sticky Web. Uh, the Spikes here are a little annoying. That might be an issue later. Uh, next up here is his Gligar with a Sand Veil ability and Adamant Nature 30 in IVs with the moves U-Turn, Acrobatics, Night Slash, and Roost. Alright, well, this is a little unlucky. Um, I'm not actually sure what to send out here. The spikes are going to hurt for sure. No. 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 Oh, are you serious, man? Next up is his chat hot with a citrus berry, keen eyes ability, timid nature, and 31 in IVs with the moose heat wave, nasty plot shatter, and roost. Alright, next up is his Alolan Executor holding a citrus berry, the har harvest ability, adamant nature, 30 in IVs with the moose dragon hammer, wood hammer, hypnosis, and nature power. All right, never mind. I didn't have to reset. Thank God. Accept Kane's fast travel request here. Alright, now that we're back here, first thing you should actually do is prepare your team. So, you may remember my Murkrow from earlier. Sorry, I just want to check the items one more time. So this is where we... Okay, interesting. I noticed she was facing a different direction, so I want to talk to her. So we are going to pick up my little Murkrow friend here in place of our Minchino. Put you here. 
Let's heal up my team. Uh, let's see. Anything else I can buy here? I uh, have a decent enough Pokeballs. Oops. Enough escape ropes. Alright. I saw a guy standing up here. I don't remember him being here. Okay, never mind. Some of the people change around in the places we are, so... Oh, alright, that looks like that's Letty, Victoria's friend of somewhat. Alright, so, yeah, my team is essentially ready. And for this upcoming battle, it doesn't matter about disobedience, so. Uh, so, yes, we have our Murkrow. For those who know about the battle, we're going to use that. Um, so one thing to know is that once you enter Pyre's Mountain, you won't be able to leave. So that can definitely be an issue. So, I'm just gonna uh, head back over though and talk to Victoria here. Okay. <laughs> All right. We head in. And with that, we are in a double battle with Victoria. So, okay, that's fine with me. Alrighty, Kling. Oh my. Why is everything missing? Ow. Let's hope we uh, land our attacks here. Galvantula and Sulker Punch? That is not particularly any good. Uh, Dodrio, alrighty. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Um, I guess Nido King. Oh boy. All my Pokemon are going to start disobeying me now. Alright. Alright, I don't think we get any points with talking with her, so I'm just going to try and progress through the area. So we already solved the puzzle here, so a lot of the grunts are like positioned conveniently in areas you need to reach. But we're gonna battle them anyway, cause why not? Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> I have to do some research on when I want to turn on the hard cap uh, thing though. Because there were obvious benefits like when I evolved my. Um, whatchamacallit? Blaziken. So. Oh my. As you can see, this isn't going very well. see so normally you would hit the rocks there for the magma then let's see is there any battles down here oh, yeah seems like it so take care of these two yeah take care of these two. Oh, they have a lot of pokemon
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh. Oh no. Oh my goodness. This is just really bad, to be honest. I mean... These are just like normal battles, so I don't have to worry about the net last last battle with my Murkrow, so it's just kind of sucks uh, not able to do much here because of the disobedience, holy. Actually getting carried by Victoria. Oh, great. Really determined my uh, Pokemon to be more of a threat, which is interesting. Alright, let's see. Oops. Technically, you could use this to find more shinies, but the shiny rate is already super high in this game, so a little bit unnecessary. Alright, I'm gonna use a repel. Uh, I think I have max repels still. Oops, that's. Alright, I have one. Okay. So if we head over this way, I think, and then down here. Nope. Let's see, can't head that way. Let's go down this hole. Alright, never mind. Looks like you're here. Oop. Alright, never mind. Tank and skunk tank. Ooh. Alright, let's go with Electro Web under normal circumstances. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh me oh my. <laughs> Nice. Double kick, I guess. Okay. It's up here. these guys all right are these guys recurring characters I wouldn't remember them to be honest oh no why no oh what in the world is this Serena's moveset? Oh, I think my Galvantula is about to meet its maker. Ouch. Alright, Nido King is up. Let's go with Earth Power on that Houndoom. Doom. 
superior. Interesting. Yeah, let's go with the poison jab. Oh, that surprisingly did a lot, despite its uh, special attack investment. Uh, well, this is a bit interesting. Alright. Alright, I think... We're almost there. I think. Just about. Yes, let's save. Let's switch my Mokuro in. Hmm, Absol. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. that we're up against Solaris so one thing to note is that you do not have to win this battle for obvious reasons as you can see right in front of us but for the purpose of the story route that I will be doing I will defeat this unbelievably menacing Garchomp with my Murkrow there's plenty of strategies to deal with this and Big Dream notes a few this is by far for me the most surefire method and for most players it is too um, if you do not want to continue on this route, you do not have to beat this Garchomp here. So you'll be on a different route if you do not beat this Garchomp. And that's perfectly fine. I'm going to beat this Garchomp because I want to see that exclusive route that I did not get to experience the first time around. Because I was unable to beat this Garchomp. So, with our Prankster Pair Song, we won. Because he only has one Pokemon. He won't use revives. He has two full heals. Uh, superheated field. The Garchomp is level 75, as you can see, with holding a leftovers with the rough skin ability, the adamant nature, and 31 in IVs with the moves Dragon Rush, Earthquake, Iron Fang, and Stone Edge. So, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna keep sending out Pokemon here. Just keep sending them out. Because there's nothing he can do against the Parish Count. Absolutely nothing. Alright, and we won.
Oops, sorry about that. Drop something. Alright, so with that, I want to mention that if you defeat Solaris on Pyrus, you get one point with Kane, Victoria, Cal, Shade, Anna, and three with Taka. So, a lot to gain from that. So, with that, we know where to head to next. Our Pokemon have all been healed up. I'm not gonna lie, the. What was this? Okay. <laughs> um, alright. Let's bring our Mancino back onto the squad here. Uh, let's put my Murkrow back. Good job, Murkrow. Alright, so with that, we just need to head back to Reborn City via our boat. That repel effect wore off, okay. Alright, so. By Spixen, uh Wasteland is very close. By close, I mean right here. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, with that, we can almost enter. Alright, so here we are in by Bixbician, by Bixian, I don't know, I'm sure, by, yeah, whatever, the Wasteland, so there's a lot of new encounters for us here, so I guess I can show the encounter list for this as well, um, so of note are Venipede, we can now catch Muck as well, uh, Weezing, Cubone, and that's about it, so Venipede involves into Scullipede and with speed boost it is an excellent Pokemon for sweeping and for setting up another Pokemon. I'll get into that later when we can find uh, both of the Pokemon I am mentioning. Uh, Muck is good, I believe this is just the Cantonian Muck, not the normal one or whatever version of Muck it's called. Uh, Weezing is decent, Cubone is decent. And then um, there's actually Headbuttable Trees where you can catch an Inkay. And there are also rock smashable rocks in which you can find Nankata. So Nankata can evolve into Shedinja and well, I'm sure for those who know about Shedinja, you can definitely know how it could potentially be good. Wonder Guard is one hell of an ability. So as you can see this area is a little bit confusing, that is for sure. Uh, let's see. So, navigating this area can definitely be a bit confusing for sure. Uh, Alright, so what we want to do is use that little, I don't even know what to call it, stair thing. Oh, that could have been bad. Um, yeah, all my Pokemon are over leveled. For my machine, I guess I'll keep it out. 
So we want to just hop down here, go through this gate. Oh shoot, he said to read the grave? Uh oh. We'll be able to get back up there. Talk to this guy. Excuse me. Uh, let's pick this up. Uh, pick this up. Is it this grave? Uh, yes, this grave here. Alright, never mind. There are graves up back up where we were. So, uh. Alright, looks like we have to enter this building. So just emerge at the top here. Alright. So there's actually a ledge here we can take. So take that. And find an ability capsule there. Fantastic. Smash this rock. Talk to that Carbos, or get that Carbos. Take up this green shard here. Oops, counter Pokemon. And interact with this canister, actually. May remember these. All right, with that, I think we can enter a cave up here in this corner. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So if we follow it to the left and out, we can catch a cotton candy here. We can't quite enter that area, so just head back out. And hop down the ledge here. And now we just do it all over again. All right, I don't think we can, let's just, oh, interesting. Corey and Elena, all righty. Uh, Barrel War Gym. So we want to head back down. Back up to the building. Now we want to head to the right. Down this slide. It's a lot of items. that pokeball alrighty uh, ooh, I don't think we want to go that yet here's another canister we can interact with so go ahead and do that Venipede, Whirlipede I'm gonna go over here and pick up this item large XP candy okay We can go through this building here. Go through it. Here we can find a hidden black sludge. Good item. Now we want to head to the bottom left of this segment. Over here. So hop down once. Pick up these hidden items. And turn on this canister. And there's also, if you can barely see it, an hidden item here. Feud effect 19 on the wasteland. And now we have to go back through the building over here. Oh wait, I'm kind of dumb. Wait. This grave says Kiki. Alright, head back down again. And Yes, all right, we have another thing coming up. A battle, if you will. So if you notice there was a light shard down here, you already know what that signifies. I don't think you actually have to use that light shard as Big Drew notes says to use. All 
Ah, yes, Ace is down there. Yep, get ready for a battle. Ace once again. So she sends out her Delphox here with the Magician ability, Modest Nature, and 31 in IVs with Mystical Fire, Psy Shock, Thunder Punch, and Foul Play as its moveset. Alright, we're resetting. Alright, I'll be right back when I have lowered my Pokemon's level with a common candy. Alright, I am back. I used the common candies on all my Pokemon. And I bought a few extra just in case. So hopefully this second attempt should go well. Oh man. Alright. Oh wow. That is so unbelievably annoying. Oh shoot, I forgot to mention her Miss Maggie is here. Here's her Miss Maggie is, has the ability to levitate a modest nature and 25 in IVs. With the moves Mystical Fire, Power Gem, Shadow Ball, and Thunder Wave. Okay, um. Oh. Shins out her Zoroark. It was actually her first Pokemon in case it was obvious. With the ability Illusion, a Jolly Nature, 20 in IVs. With the moves Swagger, U Turn, Punishment, and Low Sweep. This thing is going to go for Sucker Punch. Uh, it's holding an Enigma Berry. Super Luck has its ability Adam and Nature. 20 in IVs with moves Sucker Punch, Heat Wave, Steel Wing, and Drill Pack. Oh, it's going to go for Drill Pack. Well, that's very interesting. <laughs> um, let me think here. Hmm. Hmm. No, so annoying. Alright. Next up is your Clefable, holding a Citrus Berry Magic Artist ability with Adamant Nature, 20 in IVs with the Miss Belly Drum, Drain Punch, Ice Punch, and Meteor Mash. Next up is a Bronzong holding a Telerk Seed, a Levitate Ability, Brave Nature, and 25 in IVs with the moves Gyro Ball, Zen, Headbutt, Toxic, and Protect. Oh. Zen Headbutt? Oh, I think I lost anyway. Holy. Oh my goodness. 
All right, third attempt, I guess. If I could take out... Oh, this swagger is so annoying. Let me just go with signal beam at this start here, I guess. All right. And then on her Bronzong. Wait, none of her Pokemon are even affected by that. Never mind. Let's go just go with Thunder Wave. Oh, it's raining. That is a slight issue. Uh, this is her real Delph Fox. Uh, it's probably going to go for Mystical Fat Psy Shock here. So let me switch to my Zoroark. Let's go for Night Slash. Nope. Oh. Huge. Oh. Well, this is a bit interesting. Um, let's see. Wow, it's faster still. So. All right. Shoot, I only have offensive moves. Oh, never mind. Okay, that was gonna go for a sucker punch there. All right. Oh, did I go for all our Pokemon now? Yes, I did. Haha. <laughs> Critical, nice. Alright, so this team... This battle should not have been that hard. Alright. So make sure to interact with this panel here. And with that, I want to end the episode for today. It's been a uh, long recording, about average length nowadays. Um, so we got a lot done, you know. We finished up our business on Azurine Island, uh, finished up Pyrus Mountain with the battle against Solaris, and we just defeated Ace here in the Bayes Bixian Wasteland, or however you pronounce it. So in the next episode, we'll be... Uh, continuing exploring this place and eventually get to our next batch so I imagine it'll be another episode before the badge and then on the episode after this one we'll get to our fifth batch so uh, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all later <laughs>